hey guys welcome back so up to now we are writing our tests we are making sure that they are running actually let me make sure i remove this log here we don't need it so we can make sure that the tests are running fine and everything is good so in this video we're going to be talking about how to get test data and also how to use fixtures what fixtures are so they are basically a way you can generate test data to use to test your models, your templates, your views. So we have different projects that are really good that can make your life really easy. So one of them is this model bakery. So what it allows you is to create an instance of maybe a, a model by just doing bake.make. So you say bake.make and then the, the module path and then it's going to be able to create for you the instance. You won't have to hustle around having to get the test data, supply the first name, supply the last name, all this kind of thing. So it's going to be able to do stuff for you. So that's well and good. So I really encourage you guys to take a look at Model Bakery. So what I'm really excited about is this package called Faker. So Python has this package. So Faker basically is a popular module. So it has different bindings, even for, I think, not JS, even for javascript so you can use this to do very many things so for now you're going to be keeping it simple we won't be using model bakery or any other high level or any other high level fixture module so we're going to be using faker to actually look at what things you can get from it because i believe with faker you can actually use it for very many things even outside Django, it's a very important tool to have if you're really like testing out things all the time so we are going to be looking at it and we see how we can really use it to get some test data instead of us start coding this so to show you here we need to install it we need to install faker so here we can do pip install faker okay so that's gonna go ahead and correct it and then install it okay so what we want to do is we want to import faker so we can say from faker import faker like this so here we can create a faker, a faker instance. We can say self dot faker equals faker. Okay, so now with this faker, we can go ahead to actually start generating things like IP addresses, things like paragraphs, things like names, things like image URLs, and those kind of things. So of course we won't be covering everything here. So if you wanna use it, you're going to be coming on here and checking how do I generate this? How do I generate this? So if you use this once or twice, you're gonna be golden. Everything is going to be so, so all the common things are going to stick. So how do we generate a username? That's easy. We can say self.faker.name like this. So over here, I'm going to console log this so we guys see what's going on. So I'm going to do a print like this. So here, if we run back the test, let's install faker. So here, if we run back the test, so I'm going to run the tests again. You can see that we get this. You see? So using this test data can give you a different perspective, especially with the edge cases that you may not catch from the data you supply in the tests. So over here, you notice that this username should not actually have like, like spaces. So currently our application is not handling that. So we would need to go back and handle that. So guys, you can see there are very many edge cases and with these tools, we can at least be sure that there are some things we can handle. So over here, let's make sure, since this is always going to be two names, we can make sure that we are taking the first name. Okay, so to take the first name, we want to split it by the space, and we want to take the, the, the first, the, by the space and the first section of the string. So here, if we console log to this, let's, console, let's run again. You can see that now it's using one name. So here, okay, so let's now get the email. So with the email, we can do self.faker.email. Okay, so to get the password, this can be anything, but you want to make sure that it is the same. So here you can have like password, self.password. It's gonna be equal to self.faker. So then, so we can get a paragraph by doing self to faker, then we can do paragraph. So even this, you can be passing like arguments to really obstruct which paragraph you get. So if you wanted to get like a sentence with like five characters, we'll do something like NB sentences. So a num number of sentences in a paragraph, you do se NB sentences equals like five. And that should give us this also console log it. So now we can use this over here. 
so it's just a way that you guys can get this data so i hope you guys take time to really explore this library and you can refactor your tests to you not use dummy data all the time so if we run this test again you can see that things are still passing and things are good so yeah so that's gonna be it i just wanted to show you guys a, a way that you can stop using hard coded text and at least put some dynamism in your new tests and that's gonna be evading different scenarios that you did not expect in your data so that's gonna do it for this one if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below i hope this was a little helpful if it was give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll talk to you soon